want a weaver, just a mistake, I think. I realize I haven't put your name in yet, and your name is actually longer than any other caster's name we have ever had. I'm actually having to readjust the overlays just to fit you in, man. I... Really? Yeah. What about Admiral Bulldog? Oh, he's actually no. Well, actually, that's not true. That's not true. Bulldog, I think, cast with me a very long time ago. Like we're we're talking years ago. Um. Yeah, Bulldog takes a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Literally, bro. <laughs> Dude, I I want to see Bulldog go into like Fly's boot camp. He'll come out and just wreck your face. <laughs> yeah, that would never happen. We all know that. <laughs> the showdown. Uh, Bull coming Bulldog up, would not survive. Yeah. Bulldog would not survive one day in Fly's boot camp. Okay, <laughs> let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> Have you seen Moni Isaac? How big he is? Is that? I I've I've seen a couple of pictures. Yeah. He, they, his dad runs the boot camp, and it's no joke. Apparently, Tal told me about it before. They, you, you should really do that. Like, even if you're gonna make it like an OG fly, like video with Fly, just, uh, just have like Fly's boot camp. Who can survive out of all the Dota 2 pro players? Golden idea, right there. Enjoy. Oh, Fnatic screwed up. You see that tree instinct? He screwed up. He screwed up big time. Oh, not like this, Fnatic. He didn't. He didn't do the Emerald Bulldog. But without the creep, without doing the skipping. Uh, no, what you do, the Admiral Bulldog, is to actually summon, um, four trees to pull the creep away versus Wish Doctor. Okay. Uh, so when he uses the cast... Phobos? Is Phobos dead? You know, with a fairy fire consumption? Illidan? Nope, he's got him. They set up with an Obsidian Sentry. That was, uh, just a simple, almost a full duration Fate's Edict. Always on a fly was just a fraction of a second offered. I nailed him with oh. level 1 spectral dagger, kills an offlane weaver, thanks to vision game. Uh, that should never happen. I mean, that's just full boss misplaying, I'm sure of it. That's really big, because, like, Leo, who's supposed to be like, I mean, who's always want to fly, think they, he's dead. They'll get, they'll get revenge. He's gonna face Edict himself, uh, I'm sorry, Fortune's end himself a little bit further away, and with the consumption, it's still not enough. So, Weaver will get some revenge, so good rotation from Lil. Yeah, he needed to punish top and he knew that, because this lane is so punishable. Imagine if we were to feed first blood and just waited like a minute that happened, then like the game is kind of like over at that point. Not really over, but then they would get really punished for their picks. Really, really punished. These guys are rotating so hard, now Gall Black's up on top lane. Well, it started as a, like, a, like a dual mid. Has now turned into a defensive tri lane from Team Spirit against the Weaver, which they have no real stuns over. Like, Fortune's ends are on the controller. You can't even call it control, honestly, because you have to, like, charge it off for so long. Yeah, but the only reason Phobos died to it before is because he walked all the way through the OBS and Sentry Ward. Yeah. I like a mid lane? So... Yeah. Lil's not gonna get down, though. Look at a fat ogre. How annoying is he? Look at him. Just look at him. He's got no running in. speed, but, like, they can... Wait, is Lil? <laughs> He started the stuns twice. I was waiting for that critical timing when Iceberg uh, missed his jaunt. Yeah. You know, even though Funnick screwed up in the first wave, he is 9 CS. He's playing so well right now in Funnick. So even when he screws up, he's still good? Yeah, I don't know what happened. He just like screwed up, but he has 9 CS house somehow versus that lane. Well, the, the creep wave came underneath the tier 1 tower. So he was just saying he really. farm underneath that. Yeah, Polarity lost control of it for a little bit. I must have, I must have done something smart to lose control. I didn't catch it, but he probably did something good. Yeah. I say it either, but... Robos? He's not really getting a lot of levels up on this top lane. Like, I, su I suppose he's still level 3 compared to what he's up to. Like, up against. Better than just feeding away. But what do you even want yeah. from this Weaver? Like, the Weaver, is levels really enough? Like, if it's a Beastmaster who's got Roar, I can understand that. But, Weavers can't need farm to be effective. Who is Beastmaster bad? Uh, I don't think Beastmaster was even touched. Wow, I think Beastmaster would have been better. I Be mean, Be Beastmaster was left out, Darkseer was left out. Darkseer is not that good because it's against Oracle. You're picking Darkseer into Oracle. Mm -hmm. uh, I would see like Roy being okay just because it's just a puck. But I can see why they pick Weaver. Bye, boss. Time again with. Nope. So they might Do you see have... how fast Oracle attacks? It's insane. 
You don't notice it until you play against it, you know? I don't know from Fireball stuff, I'm really scared about an auto attack from, from an Oracle. Oh, yeah, it adds up, mate. It adds up. Iceberg's getting a little harassed. He's actually gonna consume his fairy fire rather uh, already and use phase shift. And TP support's coming in. Yeah, just for diving, to being very annoying in the mid lane. He's still winning in CS though, the fuck, with this uh, ogre running middle. That's pretty good. I don't think much heroes can do that. I love the way really always good. when a fly brings Iceberg back up again. Three purifying yeah. flames to do it. That's actually pretty smart. He had no life anyway, so it wasn't really taking much away from him. Yeah. This witch doctor's been waiting for this moment on the bottom lane for a while. Paralyzing we'll cast, above. malediction as well. And Funnick, well, he's gonna sprout and attempt this TP out to safety, and he's gonna make it. The malediction tick won't do enough. Every time you live as Nature's Prophet by doing that, it's so big because you team back to base, you heal up full mana for HP, and the enemy team has to regen up again. This is really big. Do you lose that much though if you're, if you're the CK at this point? Like, you kinda do, because now you're half HP, false use yourself. So now any auto attack hits on you stays there. This movement of any... the top from Team Spirit, it's. I always want to fly where he's going, but I think he's he's too worried about what Afo is going to do to Iceberg. I think they're, they're just waiting on Team Spirit for Spectre at level 6, and then they're going to get the ball rolling. Right now, Phoenix level 6 is way faster than he should be. So all they need right now is a Lizard hit level 6, and then this game will be like, fast, like, like, um, shock. Like just like bam, 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 bam. As opposed to two really kills fast. in six minutes. Yep. Then we're gonna see our rushing game. Just wait. Funnick making a break for Roshan again with a sprout. Does no one have a tango? No one's gonna tango. And Funnick will actually cancel his TP out, <laughs> realizing that they're just gonna leave him. So cheeky actually of Funnick. Well, he's got to impress you, man. After after the tree going, the start, are they going mid? Going mid. Yeah, here's yeah. the proper TP over. But the dream calls are being used, but defensive imprisonment from Afo makes it like impossible to do damage to him. Yeah, they just this this is why this hero is so broken, honestly. Just like, hey guys, Astro TP mid guys, I'm getting ganged. Like, all right, congratulations, you're a good player. And you should Astro yourself. I can self cast. <laughs> all right. Almost level 6 and other than that's a mistake from uh, Iceberg, I think. We're not waiting for Spectre level 6 for Coil. Now the timing's a little bit screwed up. Because you want to get your first kill of a Coil, not force TPs. And yeah, pretty much they just needed to wait. Because there's no way that Mid's not a kill. The Spectre Hunt, they just pop out the TP in. That was a kill for sure. Got Even if a defensive Astro. You got Wrath up in 40 seconds then, and Dream Call in 20. Yeah, that's the next timing. Yeah. There's no other uh, rotation coming. Like, like right now, you've got Gold Black actually walking back to base because he's got no, he's got no mana to speak of. Funny, still to bunk it in on this bottom lane, and his mana also isn't really that great. As he summons these treants, you don't actually have Wrath of Nature at the moment. He needs to summon them though, because he needs to make sure that the tower doesn't take too much damage. The scout, the uh, bottom one is fine. He's gonna heal now, I think. Oh, he's not Funny. Please. Uh, he wants the experience. It's not worth it. Because you're just wasting time. Because you could always just buy a TP scroll and come back anyway. But is this, okay. considering the amount of money he's got, is this going to be a Midas Funnick? Uh, yeah, probably. They, they have ultis up. What are they doing? They're just sitting there. This is what Polarity wants. Time to farm for CK's armlet. Time for OD to actually gain more and more levels. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, it's this is not what polarity wants. It's for the to get one kill in eight minutes. They want more than this, but mm -hmm. well, they might have an opportunity up on top lane. The ignite's gonna hit both fly and Illidan, but uh, Lil didn't get in the stun. <laughs> polarity doesn't want the game to hit this point. We're getting enough kills, but if Team Spirit's actually just gonna do nothing, which is very rare for Russians to do nothing. Like it's actually very rare. Then, like, oh, here's the spectral haunt. Are they gonna go mid? It is, they're on Afro, but there's your defensive imprisonment. 
But they did use a Dream Call and Tombstone's also down, but Afo, as you said, it was a guaranteed kill, but the Luz always want to fly in the top lane to, to DK Phobos in the meantime. It'll time lapse that time lapse off all the damage that's done. It ends up being a one for one trade, but the mid for a support. That's a mistake from, um, what's his name? Afro Ninja. Because um, he saw Gold Black TP middle. He literally saw Gold Black TP middle. Like, in full vision. Like, if that doesn't scream that, hey, I'm gonna gank your ass, then I don't know what does. Because all you need to do is, in that case, when the support's middle, is don't, don't lay in middle by yourself. You need a support sitting behind you. Otherwise, just jungle. Waiting for Phonic to have a play for that, but he didn't have Wrath of Nature. I had a crack at Phobos, and we'll force him all the way back to base. Yeah. Alright, so in this game, Funic actually ended up deciding going for the drums. So we'll get uh we'll get more of a combat style, nature's profit. Yes, it's better to get drums, honestly. You're not gonna like go Midas and go late game versus like three carries. Weaver, Chaos Knight, OD, I think you just need to like and like get kills every get a kill with every ultimate and win the game. Treat that way. Should he actually come in with it with bigger control? Because the only reason why I was thinking Mice is because he may need something like a side device for a team with so little stuns. He needs something. I mean, or they need is, to have a vice, but is Orchid going to be enough at this early stage? They need to have a vice. They need a lot of items, but at the same time, like those are like way later. I think they have to like win the game fast. I mean, like just apply a lot of pressure early, and if you go smite, this stuff is bad. Because, like I said, they're playing as a tri triple core lineup. They need to punish the triple core. Always gonna fly, almost dead. Yeah. Well, Fire Boss decided to bail out. He already did the damage he was looking for. Just to drop, always gonna fly that little bit lower. And Lil's preparing. They special haunt. The Observer Ward that was planted down a couple of minutes ago by Goblack helps them set up for this. Funny because she TP'd in over for this nice perk. Drawn away, but the four seconds done. Say goodbye. You can actually trade an ogre for a puck. Yeah, that's good. And you might, and people will be like, my carry rotated. Well, meanwhile, the shock is farming bottom, so it's all good in the hood. He's getting, getting a lot of experience down here too. Bring in the Death yeah. Lord. Funic, now he actually wants to have a crack at him. He's gonna go directly into the death ward. And Funic, the TP out, it's not gonna happen. It's like it's really well even, even getting that crit just to a final nail in the coffin. That's a really good play. It's a uh, CK timer, by the way. That's really big. Look at net worth. Oh my goodness, CK is so far. Yeah. He's had so much space on this bottom lane. Yeah. Like, Funic may have, may have uh, influenced the other lanes, but this bottom lane seems to just be pretty much partial. Yep. I don't think like he should be bottom anymore after getting a kill like that. Oh, that was Icebergs really good. in trouble. Icebergs actually in a lot of trouble. He's gonna orb himself away, but the imprisonment means he can't do it. <laughs> yeah. That's actually such a horrible time for a puck. Get dream coil. He's gonna orb him one second time, but Odie just drops the ulti. With the haste rune, there was no way that puck was gonna be able to outrun. Afo either. Look at OD, man. Look at it here. So much skill. So much skill. Just right click. There's so much skill. I can't take it. I'm a good player. There's, there's a couple of heroes who are like that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not just OD, bro. <laughs> like, remember, remember the Zeus the Zeus claims, like, all you gotta do is press R and you've won the game. Hey, Zeus requires positioning. Hey, look at OD skill, by the way. Level 3 uh, Astro. Yeah, what is with that? Uh, I don't know. I get Funic bottom, just block it. He's dead again on Funic, which is like horrible because he's level uh he's level level nine. He's level nine. He's died. He was the same level as Chaos Knight. Now Chaos Knight is almost level eleven because he's had two kills in a row. That's like when Wish Doctor is level eight. Really not good. You know when I feed, right? At least I feed when I'm low level. You know, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm like, level 9, I don't die anymore. It's gonna be more defensive. But maybe he's also feeling pressure. We know, well, we saw from Polarity in their lower bracket round 1 match what they do with this Chaos Knight. The second he hits level 11 and has the mana for it, they just trigger Phantasm and, and push down buildings. Like, they don't even wait for the fights to use Phantasm, they just use it to take out the early tier 1 towers and if they can, push to the tier 2s as well. Dude, this Chaos Knight just bought an omelet. He's 150 gold from drops. Alright, yeah, this guy's getting too fat, guys. Afo, being initiated on. 
quick fortunes there, but Afro imprisoned up the Oracle. So there's no instant nuke power coming out, but there's a lot of chase. And Iceberg will commit the dream call for this. Afro will be going down. Yeah, he went, he went top through with no vision. That's why he died. The gold black dies in the meantime. Arsh is actually locked in by the undead minions until uh, Witch Doctor killed off the tombstone. Did they just like keep running bottom for no reason and feeding? Just what they're doing actually. Yeah. Now he has drums. So with the drums up on a CK, you've got Phobos who's actually got really, like, his survive ability is ridiculous. He actually went for a Vanguard to go with his Ring of Aquila. He's going to try and kill off always on a fly here when I say try. He's going to have to wait a little bit longer thanks to False Promise for the Death Ward. Okay, always on a fly is most definitely dead. Onyx still got the bug on the back of him. Are they going to shrug off? That's Honestly, funny. four boss is the boss. Illidan? This is the boss build. Illidan? The multicast from Lil, they can try and kill him off at the moment. Probot still has Shikuchi, he's going to go for a Gem with the Scarabs. As Illidan jumps into the tree line, his Spectral Dagger is going to last a little bit longer. Damn, Probot is so damn slow with no boots. <laughs> yeah, but look how tanky he is. Yeah. He's actually owning right now. It's good. It's a good build. This reminds me, like, it wasn't that, uh, it was Black who used to do this all the time. Like, even back in Dota 1, they just refused to go boots. Like, you, you'd be like a, like a 15 minute weaver and he still wouldn't buy boots. Yep, yep. Doesn't Black play support now? I don't know what, uh, does Black play in any team now? Like, for yeah, all he... the roster shuffles, like, I know he got picked up in one team, but... Then, the, I think there was a, like, the, the false rumor that that team then disbanded. But there's been, yeah, no, they haven't played in any tournaments that I've seen. No, because they haven't, they're not able to play in any tournaments, because they, they can't, they're not signed up, I don't, I don't know. They need to be in open qualifiers, basically. Well, and, uh, he's, yeah, he has an advantage, he's playing, he's playing support, he's playing support, he's playing a 5, and he got, yeah, that's what he's doing right now, that's crazy. One, one of the best farmers in Europe, and he's, he's in a, in a fifth role. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't feel right. Maybe, you know, he's just doing him, you know. Sometimes people just want to try something new. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe. But at the same time, what, it, what always brought a smile to Black's face was the ability to come out after 20 minutes with more farm than anybody else. That's what made him a very, very happy man. That is true. Say hello to Earn. And a lot of force coming in from Polarity on top. I say force. He's still the Sweeper. He, he picks up the, uh, the Glove of Haste before even getting boots. The smoke oh, it's smoke, 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 yeah. Yep. They're gonna smoke top and defend that, which I disagree with, because, I mean, like... Yeah, it's pretty obvious of a smoke, honestly. Polarity's already falling back. Meanwhile, CK is getting closer with BKB. Yeah, this should kill the CK. Actually, is, it, mean, even, like... is it even worthwhile going for a BKB on the CK? We already talked about how minimal the stuns are from Team Spirit. It's going yes and why, dude. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, SMY or Manta? Somewhere or Manta? Hmm. Uh. Because I can see him leaning towards Manta because I'm still not feeling Team Spirit's ability to clean up pollutions. Manta is decent. But SNY is more fun to play CK with because you know you're so fast. Like, zoom, zoom, Sonic. zoom. Nah, they couldn't get there in time. But trying to get the sun from Lil. Alright, they need to take some towers for Nature's Prophet. Well, that TP, do they see it? Wish Doctor doesn't have his, his uh, paralyzing cast at the moment, trying to actually go for the malediction, but Iceberg dodged it. With an nicely timed phase shift, and the TP out from Lil. Successful enough, so Spectral Horde's gonna drop, and so is Dreamcoil. And That's what you really get for big. it is Witch Doctor. And they're gonna get my tower, which is what they need. Badly. As Apo wants to try and go for a play, they're TPing in the Weaver at the moment, and Iceberg, Slowed up by the by the rod of Atos, he'll blink himself away to safety now. The tower still has to go down to the Oracle. But Phobos on the chase of Illidan, because he's so tanky, he knows he doesn't have enough damage. Because he also built a very tanky kind of style. But the CK, say hello to Phantasm, and say goodbye to God Black. He's on the run here, they need another controller, and a four second stun will do exactly that. With 20 stolen intelligence, Iceberg also in trouble, getting reality out, but Afro read the play perfectly. Drops the ult on his head, saw where the ult was going. There was just no safe port for Team Spirit to go to. That's fine for Team Spirit. I know they all die for that, but they really needed to take some towers. Be it suiciding or whatever. Does Funnick get... Yeah, Funnick's got that. 
Stick charges, uh, Funnick. Funnick. No, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Now they're actually going to lose that tier two tower as well in mid. Not okay, as much you could have done to stop that. They need to. This actually really actually not worth it. Spirit to lose this tower. Yeah, that was not worth it. I changed my mind. Then this is just Nature's Prophet effect. You no, know, remember he died twice bottom. If he didn't die twice bottom and actually just did what Nature's Prophet is supposed to do, which is you just collapse on your lanes and get kills like TP top or TP mid if it does, and kill the Weaver and take a tower. This is exactly what he's supposed to do, but instead he just sat in his lane and died twice. Yeah, he is 104 CS, but you know he only took one tower, two towers now. But at what cost? C could it just cost be the mindset as well, teams. like the fact that he wanted to get the Orchid and just didn't have the money for it? He still needed to like TP the lanes and help help other lanes. That's why he's so good because that's why he, you pick profit the Hero can is literally broken. You just TP to global TP to anywhere on the map. That's broken Remember what it used to be? You can only TP where there was vision Really? Yeah, that was that was the older version of nature's profit teleportation that Dota one thing? That was a Dota one thing. That was uh, because uh, you would then send, like, you'd be able to make a flying courier from th from the zero minute mark. So you make a flying courier and you'd send it all the way around the edge of the map into the enemy well, like just on the edge of it, so you could see, and then you TP the prop in. So he'd go for courier steps doing that. Mm. That's that's what you used to have to do to actually do like base courier sniping. That was when there was no protection. You had shields on couriers and not fountain protection for couriers. That's some old school shit. Yeah, it really is, man. Uh, say goodbye to Roshan. It belongs to Team Spirit. That's good one with Team Spirit. Do you actually do Rosh so fast if, and die? Because the damage amp works as ultimate, so he takes 20% more damage. And then Spectre's second spell, Desolate, also works on Roshan, so it's like, you take, you take it really fast. When well, first glance, you look at Team Spirit's lineup, it's like a pretty crappy Rosh lineup, but actually pretty good. Well, they're buffing up their magical damage more, even Puck, after getting getting the blink, goes in for a veil of Discord. But they're losing all the out of buildings, like this tier 2 tower is dropping, and you haven't even used Phantasm yet from Pasha. Damn, that's one big Chaos Knight when you put Bloodlust on him. It's really scary. The thing nightmares are made of. You got a level 2 Phantasm ready to go, a full 5 man lineup, and they're bearing down on top of Team Spirit's tier 3 tower. Like Polarity also want to fight into this with a Blink Dagger on the OD. You see the catch someone out of position. Veil of Discord has already gone off on Pasha. But he's beating into the tower with the armor turned off at the moment. Being very, very low on life. Phobos also went in quite deep. They put a very de defensive sentry ward in Team Spirit. They can see if Phobos gets behind the lines. And they will repel Polarity, but damage was done to the tier 3. Are they gonna... Yep, Spectral Horn out! Wish Doctor with the sacrificial lamb, I don't think uh, Lil... Uh, he gets away with his TP. So Wish Doctor dies for heavy damage onto a tier 3 tower trait. Yeah, tier 3 is doing what they're supposed to do. If you look at uh, Polarity's lineup, they don't have a blink initiation yet, except for OD. I, I disagree with OD being top in a push. If he doesn't show, and he sits at bottom, I'm sure they're gonna take it if I bottom. I don't know why they chose to exchange towers. Because, like, give it, they gave uh, Team Spirit like a bottom tower for no reason. And a kill. So, like, that's pretty. Team Spirit will obviously take that if they're losing. They might have Aegis, but honestly, it's an Aegis Spectre, which is, like, not even that strong yet. Because he only has face drums to earn. If the Spectre is Radiance, then okay, but, like, you'd be like, alright, I don't wanna. Um, fight, you know, Spectre Radiance Aegis, like that's hard, but if only it's a drum Aegis, you definitely should still fight. I can, I can see that, but, yeah. I always have Blitz's words ringing in my head whenever, whenever someone like starts talking about Dota with uh, pushing towers, where he's just like, you've got to defend so many towers, like why, why lose a tower? Like what do you really gain for it with the push? Yeah. Let's look at Spectre, he is 4.3k gold. That means you're, you're taking a fight with Spectre having 4k goal. So you look at the goal experience, it's like 5k goal lead, it's actually a 9k goal lead because Spectre is not spending his money because he's getting a relic, you know? Yeah. So like, it's actually a way bigger lead than you think it is. But Elden's still gonna know. have that cash. Like that T1 tower is dropping pretty quickly on top lane. I like to add the pressure and polarity. If they do what they did before, it is gonna be a tower trade-off. They just go and push the tier 2 instead. Now Weaver, TPing to the north. And he'll actually end I mean, up denying that top tower. 
It's not worth it for the Nye. I mean, they could have got a trade. Oh, they got a kill middle. On yeah. Gold Black. Guess Gold Black should have ran away faster. He went, he, went, he went back for the Manta, by the way, you were right. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I was gonna say that the bottom tower trade was fine for uh, polarity because if they lose their tier 2 tower, it's okay because you look at bottom lane, Team Spirit doesn't have their tier 1 tower. And polarity had a tier 1 tower up when it took the both towers top, which like is way better. But since they lost their tier 1 tower now, now it's not it's evened out. Because if your tier 1 tower is up when the enemy team lost both their tier 1 and tier 2 towers, you have so much map control in the area of the map. I'm still wondering how Polarity end this game. Like their their ability to push high grounds, obviously a lot of it comes down from Chaos Knight when and all of his Chaos Knights. Team Spirit is delaying this game more and more. Illidan's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, now it's the Radiant Ages. Now they want to fight for the smoke. This is a good smoke, and they can show uh, on a lot of heroes because the Team Spirit Polarity doesn't have enough catch. It only catches the OD. But Odie's getting BKB too, so that's the timing. So right now, Polarity needs to hide. They just should not fight right now. They should wait for Aegis to expire before they fight. And OD BKB before they fight. Okay, that's the next timing. They're still looking for the opening with a three smoke group. Looks like they just yeah. want to get one, but okay. So yeah, Polarity, they back out. They are going to hide back at their base. They have a smoke on the Ogre, but as you said, like you still want to finish up that BKB over on the OD. And there goes your Aegis Demoral, so they waited out the timing on, on that. So there goes your advantage for Team Spirit. I'm playing very disciplined on uh, Polarity, with the stick in S5. They know that if they get caught out here right now, and then they die, although you don't BKB, the game suddenly looks really grim. I'm not sure work out just how much damage, like in the later portion of the game, who wins in a man fight? Chaos Knight or the Spectre? Oh, Spectre will lose for sure. Because there's, there's no way again to clean up all these illusions. Just, yeah. Like, but if it's just one on one, like if it's just Illidan against the CK. Well, Spectral Haunt, have they found one? Yeah, they did. The time lapse throw from Phobos, he doesn't die. There also be triggers, they see him. He's on the run, but support is rotating over. You got Iceberg in the middle of Polarity as they're coming over too. And now Illidan, three seconds done over on him. That's a one for one trade of Iceberg, still considering this, but consider it no more. You cannot take this fight. It's worth it. I'll take the trade any day. Especially when you have Tri-Core lineup versus Dual Core and then you take a Waffle 1 carry trade. Really, way worth it. Eric, that blink didn't get him down into the river. Yeah, he's fine though. Ever's got no more maneuverability on him. But he's still got that 10 second BKB ready. Looks like guys trying to find some way to control him. The Aghanims have to build for the puck. Yeah, that's a good build because he, he sees that everyone in Polarity is going to BKB, so it's going to like control them when they have BKB. So what they have to do basically, Toby, is they have to force the BKBs from Polarity when puck out these on them, and then just run away, kite the BKBs, and kill them when their BKBs are over. Does that even really work though? Because like when you got an OD on your field, like you, you've seen the Weaver tank through most of the damage anyway, so he just time lapse out. And the OD just impresses himself, Blink comes off cooldown, and then he's away to safety. I I don't even like I'm I'm worried the Team Spirit even have the ability to force something like a like a BKB. I don't think Team Spirit has the ability to win the the win a team fight anymore at this point. Scale is too big, they fed him too much. I don't think they can win a team fight. I think the only way they're going to win this game is through um, splitting the map, splitting polarity up, getting pickoffs all over the map with Nature's Prophet and Spectre on ulti and cooldown. And when the ulti is on cooldown, when they can fight, they just split push. If you look at polarity's lineup, like you said earlier, like how, what's the high ground, you know? Yeah. They need to get kills. They need to get like kills outside the base to get a high ground push. And if they don't do that, I think that Spirit has like a decent chance to win this game. It's got to keep those sidelines out, so it puts more pressure on the back of Funic. But Funic doesn't really have a split push build. Like when you go for this Blink Dagger, your survivability increases as well as the Orc, but there's no Maelstrom. There's no quick way to push out the side lanes and get that split push going. There's no Agon Inceptor to create mass amounts of treants which keep polarity on the back foot. Yeah. 
I, I think he's working his way there slowly. With yeah. the blink dagger pickup, it kind of tells me that he's, he wants to be more slippery in his spell pushing so he can TP and blink TP out and just be like really like hard to kill. It, yeah, it I hope he doesn't go cheap stick. It makes a lot of sense because he just needs to have something to help his team find some picks. So they do it by themselves, even just with like you need to always catch one person out. And that's only going to happen maybe once, maybe twice. The polarity get caught in such a situation. I think it's possible. Oh, the lizard bot lane. Not good. This is not what it. Oh, lot like they, this. He was hoping to come down and gank with the rest of his team. They had uh, they had three guys: the undying puck and and disruptor, uh, not disruptor, Oracle, waiting to actually yeah. rotate over. Now Phonix <sighs> looks towards mid lane. Phobos missed no BKB. Silence. Orchid gonna get a trade off. See, this is what they need to do. I need to suspect that died. That cannot happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you make it sound so simple. <laughs> now they get pressured on bottom lane too. These Chaos Knight illusions just... Okay, they're gonna time out. But it's still, a, it's still the bottom tower as well being taken out by the CK. So maybe a one for one here, a trade-off. The CK now completes up his full BKB as well. Pasha is a beast. But you get your control really back well. to Zarai, so hello Agony except they're on the puck. They gave him a lot of farm in that mid lane just before that fight began. Pasha's so big, look at him. So far. I'm still wondering how you stop that. I, apart from having maybe this, the second life through Aegis. Yeah. I think Team Spirit has the ability to fight a Roche pitch just because they have a die. I think they recognize that. I mean, this all stems back to like get yeah, dying items. Like, oh, it's not really what you want. Oh. He's trying to make it towards the fog of war. He can't blink out though, so he'll have to instantly orb, yeah. waiting for the stun dream call. But oh Pasha, he actually stood just far enough to the right that the dream call didn't connect on him. The gem lasted less than 30 seconds. They just fought the gem and they lost it. It's like they just gave the gem polarity and a kill and Roshan. Polarity is like, oh, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a lot harder for Team Spirit, and all of that was for one bounty rune. That's what the yeah. puck was actually making a play for, is for one bounty rune. Blink to the body rune too, that's the worst part about it. Oh. oh. This is how uh, they go high ground, you know, you get a pick off, you get Roche, that would do it. In 9 seconds time, they've also got Phantasm back up, and they rotate up towards the already injured tier 3 tower on top. Trigger the mana star to start with, Fortune's End or not. Phantasm is now up for, for, for Pasha, and they actually imprison up the Spectre. Goblack, well, he's got no Tombstone to really help out. Illidan's gonna get stunned, maledicted, and there will be always one of Fly saving grace on Illidan, but will even be enough? Pasha's being dragged back in. Remember, he's got the Ego Seymour on there, goes the pop on the Spectre. Pasha, Iceberg wants to come out for him. Where's the damage? It's still not enough. Now they burn through the Aegis of the Immortal. Ogre will die too, and Illidan chasing down the supports. The Radiance Burn doesn't actually kill off the Witch Doctor at this point. As Apo turns on the BKB, down with Illidan. They'll move over to the next target, which is Iceberg, but he's able to just to get himself away in time. But Goblack's also being hunted down by Phobos. Top racks will fall. Mid will probably follow it because Pasha's still up, but with a buyback. Now coming in from the Oracle, they're looking for more of that blink from Funic. Real nice timing. Gets himself away from the Reality Rift initiation of Pasha. But there's just so much of Pasha here in the mid lane. He's going to lose his teammates, however. And that's the gem of Truce I give him back to Team Spirit. Except Iceberg's still leaving it on the ground. Until the Goblack will come up and pick it. Right, Iceberg will drop his TP. That was really good for Polarity. And then they stayed for an extra set of racks, which I have no clue why they did it. And they lost two kills in the gem. But still good for polarity. Could have been better. They got a lot of Damn. buybacks out. Well, maybe they lose more. Funic. Oh, okay. That damage is still pretty damn big. Funic's still alive, however, and Pasha, he's not a healthy man. That last sack won't be enough. He's still just armor toggling through the damage and Goblack, the trip multicast from Lil with the earned charge just to ensure it. We're able to find one kill and Iceberg will just jaunt himself away to safety. Funic really yeah. wanted to get more out of that. Yeah, it was really greedy and funny, especially when Odie is spawning, <laughs> not the play. I mean, they, they got two kills, they got their drive back, the game was, you know, salvageable still, then, then that happened, and now, like, they, they lost the gem again? Like, have it. Fuck. Yeah. 
It was it was dropped back at the dire base, and we still only lost. Like they just prop it. Yeah, the the, the nightmare is real for Spectre. You get radiance, you take a team fight, you lose the fight, you die, you buy it back, and you die again. It's like that's the opposite of what you want to happen when you have radiance. Yeah. <laughs> If Radiance, you want to win a team fight, not lose and die back. <laughs> yeah, you get that Radiance, you win the team fight, then all of a sudden you got enough money for a straight Manta style. That, that's that's the play. Now yeah. he's walking around with 1200 gold and he's falling behind even further. Chaos Knight has a Reaver on him, so Pasha's rapidly approaching that 3k mark in X. Okay, no, when he turns the armor on, this guy actually got 3.1k, so he's already passed it. But if he gets a heart as well. Teen Spirit are just running out of damage. Yeah, like I said, Chaos Knight was a really good pick. Team Spirit picked three of the cores, and I mean, they did. I guess they didn't. They don't. They don't know about the Spectre Batman Chaos Knight interaction. I didn't know Chaos Knight counter Spectre until I saw Batman do it. Honestly. Oh, well, maybe they learn a lesson in this game. You know, surprisingly, Batman didn't get a team this shuffle. I thought that was pretty surprising. I thought he was gonna get a team for sure. You, th you thought he'd slip into one of the rosters as, as a trial? He's... Maybe he doesn't want to play competitive. No, he said he wanted to play competitive in the interview. I, I read it. Alright. Well, was some team manager out there. He can always go to the North American scene. Like, there's a, there's a lot of space there. I mean, I guess that's the trend for now. It's European is moving to the harder region, you know, it's a top tier region. Hey, that's, that's where Veggie Esports is going. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> how you do it nowadays. I bet you everyone's gonna like, put like, spam like, dumb memes on Twitch chat about how any Dota is shit. And then they, they, they get their beloved alliance al eliminated oh. by complexity. Go Black. <laughs> he is so gonna go down. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out with that one in a second, man, but... I spoke still on the run. It's like polarity. Are they gonna chase further in? Not now. Yeah, but the, the simple answer is for you, man. Your American scene is kind of crap, but you've got a couple of great teams out there that show that you've got top talent. And that's where the American scene, like, looks good with the players, but from, like, tournaments that are organized there and organizations which are based there, BTS is kind of like the only big group that does much out of there. Yeah. But now, now there's going to be three North American teams that are like top tier, Secret, uh, EG, and Complexity. Yeah, we should have called Secret as American now, don't we? <laughs> Iceberg, oh, they're going in deep. There's just so many illusions down with CK and the Spectrum Hall being triggered. Afro going to go into his BKB. He's looking for any kind of target to attack. And it's not to steal that intel, so he can pair himself for the ultimate. Oracle's already down for the count. And actually, in the end of that imprisonment, Afro... He gets the kill on Gold Black and Team Spirit. It's like they've lost too many racks now. The hearts over on Pasha. He really doesn't care about any damage the Team Spirit does. This game is good. This game is gold. This game is over. I mean, I'm sure Chaos Knight could drop like his heart and still win the game. Yeah, there it is. GG well played. Team Spirit will call it. Yeah, I think this is the. We're chalking up to draft, boys. Yes. Chalk, chalk one up to the draft. But it's, it's something too which you could see coming. They, they ran the almost exact same draft, obviously without Ogre and Witch Doctor, the Weave was a little bit different, but it's, it's the synergy they have between the CK as well as the OD, which Polarity have just been exploiting time and time again. They first pick up OD in the phase and they get Chaos Knight into the second phase, and it was allowed yeah. to come through. I really didn't like the Witch Doctor, I mean the, sorry, the Oracle pick, I would have read a, a Lion. Yeah. Sank, sanking. Or like something like that. San they need a Sanking. Sanking's instant stun with Weaver for kills. So Weaver won't get so far on top because you have an instant stun and then you have the Sanking Blink Tiger. You have no space to get Sanking Blink Tiger because you have a puck middle. <laughs> and then Sanking just kills illusions in the mid game too. It's like super good with Veil. Uh, it's. It was a rough game for Team Spirit to put to put nicely. Uh, Polarity, one game up. They may advance themselves through into the next round. We'll find out if that will be the case as Game 2 will be coming up after this short break. And we have really short breaks here at Epicenter. Like, our breaks, one of them lasted a grand total of 30 seconds. So stay tuned. We will be back.